All right, so we're gonna do something pretty cool here. We're gonna take a dart and we're gonna get a sample to send in to get some DNA on a deer. Take a good close look, okay? These are just the coolest devices. Now these DNA darts are used by people all over the world. I mean, they, they use them uh, in Africa on lions to be able to extract DNA off the lions. And the way these work is really cool. Take a look at this. First off, you'll notice the end of it is hollow, okay? It has a little needle in there. And this end actually unscrews. And you'll notice a real close look at this needle. It has a couple of small barbs on there. And the reason that those barbs exist is to actually hold that sample on the needle. So what happens is it's really like a hole punch. This goes and it hits their body and a little, it's gonna cut them just a small, like a smaller than an eraser. It's gonna go inside that hole, that little cutter and stick right here on these little barbs. And then we'll pick it up will wind up unscrewing the end of it. And in the package come these neat little vials. And these vials, there's one for each one of these darts. And so what will take the sample off the dart, put it in the vial, and you want to make sure and have isopropyl alcohol to put inside that little container just to preserve it. And then you send it off to the North American Deer Registry if you're registering deer like what we are. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we get started, I want to compare this. You know, if you've been watching our channel, you you see us using these RDDs, remote drug delivery devices. And this one right here is a 2cc that is in this white one and this blue one is a 2cc, but they look entirely different as you can tell. If you take a look at this one, this white one looks entirely different than this blue one right here. And the reason why is because each one of them have a special purpose. So if you take a look at it, the white one here has got like a little green, uh, it's actually called a retention collar on it. What that retention collar is for is to, so it stays in the animal to make sure the drug is all discharged into the animal. Without that little collar on there, many times the drug does not get 100% in the animal. So you wanna make sure if you're gonna use an RDD, use one that's got a gel retention collar like that. And of course this DNA dart does not have the retention collar. And all it's gonna do is collect a small sample of deer hide and fall to the ground. And just like if we were shooting a regular RDD, here's the way you load it. You come into the buttstock, open it up, and insert it right here. Close the buttstock, let's go. Okay, standing right there, he's in a perfect spot right now, so. Here we go. Nice. Look at that, the dark just fell right out. That is exactly what we wanted to do right there. It's real simple to do this, and the, really the hardest part, the most technical part about this whole thing is sending it off to the North American Deer Registry and uh, having them run the DNA analysis on it. Hey, leave that dart alone. Let me get that before he gets it. Leave that alone. That worked perfectly. Oh yeah, got a nice little sample in there. So before we show you that sample, I wanna tell you something about these darts. These are not to be reused. And the reason why is because of possible cross-contamination between samples. And also you do not want to compromise the cutter on the front of the dart. All right, so we're gonna take the little vial right here and open it up. And all we gotta do is put some alcohol in there and that'll preserve our sample. All right, that's what she looks like. Take a good close look, cause this is pretty cool. So we're going to unscrew this right here. It will unveil the needle and the small sample on it. Take a look at that right there. That little sample of deer hide right there is what we can get the DNA off of. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna open our little vial just like this, and we're gonna take that small sample of deer hide and put it in the alcohol. Now, 
Take a look at that. That little sample of deer hide right there will give us so much incredible information. Now this is the DNA dart that you'll find available on the New Dart website. New Dart makes the remote drug delivery devices that uh, virtually every deer farmer in the country is using. And what I'm gonna wind up doing is now I'm gonna make a note on a big specimen bottle of the deer's unique number. And that way I'll put the vial inside here and I won't lose it. I'll send this off to the North American Deer Registry and I will wait to hear who this deer is out of. And it's really important when you get a big deer, it's early in the summer, I mean, it's the first part of June, and that deer is already showing signs that he is gonna be a monster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get him, I'm gonna try to find out who his mama and daddy is. And the reason why is because that deer is no accident. That deer is the result of proper breeding. And the more information that we can get to breed properly, the better and healthier our deer are. If you got any questions or comments about this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and post them below. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please do so. And make sure and head on over to DeerAndWildlifeStories.com where we've got tons of other videos. Thanks for watching.